a move though. So this is a law enforcement class here? Correct. Okay. And uh, will the kids get, uh, I guess they can. Can I have them sit down? Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys <laughs> grab a seat. And so will, will the kids get a, a certificate by the time they're done, or can they go into a school to career opportunity, or are most of them going to go further uh, than that? Well, they'll actually get two certificates, from one from the state, uh -huh. one from EBIT. And then, uh, Mr. White, tell them what uh, certificates you guys managed in the last eight weeks. Uh, gotten taser certificates. We've gotten certified in emergency uh, response systems. We got certified in the National uh, Institute of Justice system. Mm -hmm. uh, is there any more that I'm missing? Well, what's Friday? Uh, active shooter from right. FEMA. How many students, real quick, are planning to go in the military? Right out of right out of uh, high school. How many how many want to continue on later in, into college and for further study in law enforcement? Okay. And real, one other question: How many people want to be a police officer? Okay. So you got. Big if this program wasn't available and you just went to a regular high school, do you feel you'd be be kind of bored and lost or no? Oh yeah. 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 So this gives you the the motivation to come to school. Pretty much. Right. Okay. And we're walking into the, uh, looks like the collision repair department. Body shop. You can see they have a, a painting booth over here. Looks like they're going to get ready to paint a car. They're taping it off. And uh, another, looks like another set painting booth here. Got the teacher hosing down. The kids just all left. And uh, you can see the kids are working on uh, different body panels. Uh, how many kids do you have in this program? This year I have 40. I have 40. 20, 20 in the AM and 20 in the PM. Okay. Mm -hmm. And is that about right? Uh, I'd like to have a few more. Okay. I'd like to have a few more. And is um, we, we've changed the program considerably this year, and based on that, we, we downsized. We had less kids interested in taking the program, program because okay. they know that we're serious about this program. Okay, but my question is, there's all these kids out there that are bored out of their mind at the high schools, a lot of kids that aren't going to college. Is, are they getting the word out enough about these programs to the kids? Or? They're getting the word out, but definitely not enough. Right. Uh, about this particular program. Other programs, yeah. You know, uh -huh. Other programs on campus have been more successful. This one we just right. changed last year, and uh -huh. we're going in the right direction. Sure. Put it that way. That's great. Okay. And, and you're, where do you get your cars from? Um, because I had my own business for 19 years right. and I closed it four years ago, I'm still getting calls from customers to asking me to repair cars. Okay. So we bring in real world work. Um, the kids have to write the estimate. The kids have to deal with the customer and try and win their business. The kids have to order the parts. The kids have to do the repairs. So real customers paper. bring their cars in here, you guys right. give them a good deal. Something right. like that. Exactly, exactly. Because all we charge for is materials, parts, and then a donation. Really? So you don't, I'm surprised you don't have this place lined up. You got people lined up trying to get their cars in we here? We have people lined up that want to get the cars fixed up and painted, and we don't want to do that. Just right. walked into the automotive bay, and you see we've got some, looks they're probably working on people's cars, right? Well, some, but actually the manufacturers, we have a huge advisory council, and because we're, uh, we teach an ASEA certification, uh -huh. um, I think it's NATAF, then when manufacturers, if there's something wrong with a vehicle, Yes. And they look up and see that we're certified. Uh, They'll school. give them to you guys they or donate them? To us so that we can work on them for as long as we want. And then when we're finished, they scrap them. Oh, they do? Uh -huh. Okay. And, like, are you talking about, like, Ford or something like that? Oh, or we've got a GM. Ford, or? We've got a Corvette in here. We've got a, really? a Lincoln over here. And these were donated uh, to the program? Yes, to the program. Oh, Arizona <laughs> Ford High School. Pitch Crew Challenge right and there. actually our students won this. This is wow. interesting. You have a, a cat. It's a front, big front end loader. And is Cat from Arizona or are they somewhere else? No, they're from all over the. Okay. Yeah, it's. I, I'm not sure that it's an international, but it's. A, yeah, yeah, I think it's a U.S. company. But, but uh, you have one of their tractors sitting out here, and why is that? Because. Yeah. What we want to do is the industry there, the uh, diesel in, uh, industry, as well as the heavy metal, and they call it yellow metal. Right. They need trained workers as well, and we have a huge uh, dealership and distributor here. Sure, in Mesa. Cat. Yeah, yes. right on Country Club. And they have sure. they partner with uh, Mesa Community College for right. a two-year degree program. Okay. Uh, and they do all the training there at Empire, but they are 
it's 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 backlogged and they need more workers they need more qualified workers. workers and so we're developing a pipeline early on with high school kids so that they can go on to this is for diesel repair right diesel repair. so these kids make pretty good money right once they finish they make really what, good 25 money. bucks an hour right. 20 and so we just recently got empire uh, cad as a partner and they're sharing their curriculum with us so that we can teach our students and is the juniors and seniors right. the basics of do any of your kids go over there to their company yes, and we've got wow actually now i think we've got about 40 students from evit that have gone to work for empire wow that's awesome mm -hmm. We're in the uh, the boardroom right now in the district office for the EBIT program, right? For the EBIT J10. And you can see each one of these board members that's on the panel represents each school district. And uh, I think you represent 10 districts, right? Well, we have 10 districts, but the, the districts are divided up in, in the area of Mesa, Tempe, Chandler, Scottsdale. So we have, I believe, nine uh, board members mm -hmm. right now. And in the middle is Dr. Downing. She's a superintendent. And who um, who actually put this concept together? Dr. Keith Crandall. And um, and he was from the Mesa School. Yes, he started he started this school. And then they decided to share it with the other school districts. Is well, that actually, work? this was put together by uh, people at, from Mesa United Way and East Valley Partnership that recognize and Mesa Public Schools that recognize that there needed to be a. a mm. A Votech, pro a huge Votech pro program that could teach skills, job sure, skills. Sure, sure. And this is what it involved in, evolved into. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Keith Crandall, that's the name of the campus now. They named it. Okay, after. okay. And he was a superintendent years ago in Mesa Public Schools, so he was one of the the, the forerunners of putting this program together. Wow. And his wife is now.